So now you became a 4Q in the US? Um, I'm probably a 5Q. Mm -hmm. Still? Or somewhere. Uh -huh. so, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it brought you played me... mostly on games? Uh, it was a mix. Uh -huh. I played a couple of handicap games and then a couple of events. Ah, I see. Not bad. Four, four wins out of five games is usually good. Yeah, in my first game, I just, I just wasn't there uh -huh. yet. I had a, a long drive to get in. Oh, and you, you started the tournament? Excuses, yeah. excuses. You started the tournament right away? <laughs> yeah, pretty mm -hmm. much. For me, it was in a different way. Uh, I had like four or five days of teaching and relaxing in that uh, ranch resort where it was fun. And then I had like two or three days of playing pool and ping pong and drinking till like four in the morning every night. And then I went to the tournament and well, I was lucky in a couple of games, winning by four and five and a half, but it was seven zero. Oh, wow. And now I won a trip to Japan for the world championship. And I'm, awesome. I'm seven points close to become a seven dance. So the next tournament I should play really serious. So we, we got a train. Nice. To, tomorrow, I, I will probably be back on uh, Twitch and Fox and try to challenge the seven down and the bots. So I wanted to show you one just like in this uh, top right corner. Let, let's go back. Okay. Uh, I'm still in the room. And I think you've got to make it a review mode somehow. I've yeah, yeah. Click review go back. like that. Okay. You, you play re really fast after killing that uh, top right, but it was dangerous. Oh, the next tournament? Oh, I, I don't really know. I've seen a tournament in Hungary, in Budapest, on the 24th of February, so that's, uh, sorry, November, that's uh, next weekend. I, I might go and play this one, but it's a very small tournament, so probably there are not so many strong tournaments there. But in February, there is a, a nice tournament, a, a winter go camp, there will be lots of strong players. And probably till then, there are not so many tournaments, nothing spectacular in, in December. So I might play one more tournament this year. We'll see. Except for those uh, okay. Pandanet tournament uh, games on the, the team championship. So in the beginning, it was all good for Black. You attack the top left corner. Ah, uh, this is strange. Why, why should defend? And now when you extend uh, I4, in this case, it's good enough to go I3. Uh, <laughs> you, you should Google search this name. Oh, by the way, let me show you a link. I managed to move uh, to rank up to number one in uh, the European Go database uh, in my country. I want to show you this. After 24 years of playing, I finally made it to the first place. But it's a tiny lead. I think if I lose one game, I go down to second easily. So. Next tournament, I should win like four, four or five games to, to go. And another target I have is to, to go to 1,000 official uh, wins. <laughs> the fighters of the fight. Oh, how do I get back uh -oh. to the original uh, game? I think you've got to click finish or analyze mode or something like that in the lower right. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Ah, got it, got it. I, I won 987 games in tournaments in the last 20 two years, so two, wow. two more tournaments or three more tournaments to, to go to 1,000 official tournament wins. And I have something like 500 losses too. And a tie, the, the only draw I, I got, the Gigo, was against a two-down professional in a fun tournament in, in Germany. You know that guy, Fan Hui, wow. who is famous for AlphaGo because he lost five games against AlphaGo before mm -hmm. the digital version? That's the guy I, I tied with, the, the only Gigo I have. So oh, wow. it's not too bad. Anyway, let's get back to the game. We can talk to the people uh, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's yeah. wonderful. It's it's great how well you did in your tournament. So. La last two tournaments were good. Romanian Cup and the Romanian National Championship. And mm -hmm. that, that gives me the opportunity to play two World Championships next year. So, Peyton, it's undefeated. Not even Lisa Dor can be this guy. <laughs> He's too big for that. <laughs> He's scary. What's that? 7Q. Ah, in the list in Romania, where we don't have too many uh, strong players here. And actually, we don't have too many players overall. But if you check the European, let me give you another link with all the players. 
there are many strong European players at the moment. Some pros, check this out. Oh, a friend of mine is calling. Give me a second. This is a six down sure, player. Just a moment. Oof. This was, for me, this was really strange of white. Yeah, getting this wall was really big for me. Cornell's taking a phone call right now. He'll let you know in a minute. Yeah, we were just talking about strong European players and uh, how Cornell actually tied Van Hui in a, a fun tournament game. Hello, Tapayok. Yeah, at this point... At this point, black is ahead by, like, 40. And at, at this point in the game, I kind of... I kind of felt like if I just disrupted this, I would win the game pretty easily. Sorry for that. I'm back. No worries. Can you hear me? All right. Yep. So j just go back to the beginning in the top right corner. I wanted to see something real quick. So yeah, you play the pincer, which is very good. Uh, yeah, this one. Looks like a, an ideal shape. White immediately invaded, very uh, desperate. It's okay to cover and go for the influence. But after you push several times okay. here, when, when she played this move, you don't always have to push M3. Actually, in general, you don't play a move like M3. You got to play L4 or you play or you just turn I3. That that M3 move is not really a Tesuji. You, you can play just L4, connect solid. No, I mean, instead okay. of push, yeah, oh, you, go, you got to go back two more moves. Undo. Undo this one, yeah. So here, you can already play L4, or you can just discard that stone and go I3. But playing that way, you manage to uh, set up the wall, which was not so bad. When you play a move like this, white has to go either M2 or M3, or maybe K2 or J2, one of these moves. And it leaves a lot of RG. Yeah, you can do that. So like that, like that, okay. white group is not completely alive. Because you have moves like I2 later, or... I, th I think now she will play again something like P3 just to make a base. But she shouldn't choose this. But just like I wanted to show you, go back a few more moves. Mm -hmm. Well, this is similar to the game. You just make the world. Well, why shouldn't the invade, actually? <coughs> so, yeah. yeah, that invasion seemed you, really aggressive. Choose three attach. It's what why should do. What you play here? What was the plan? <coughs> uh, I would just stand up here. Uh... That happens only. Maybe yeah, Han is better. Is better. That 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 kind of move you play usually when you have a, a middle side extension like P10. So you revert to the Joseki where you have Hoshi and he goes San San, or she in this case. I guess it was a she. Uh, and then you set up the the Moyo. But here you Han, eh? White will cross cut. <clears throat> then uh, Atari under Q2. You you always have to start with Atari on the second line. If you play the Atari okay. up, we can look at that too. White will go out. Then Atari uh, 04. White will extend again. Then you connect. 03. And White needs to do something like uh, R2. Fix the corner. And then you can leave it like that. You don't have to play another move. Normally in Joseki books you see uh, N4 or you see the jump at 06. I think my neighbor is doing some kind of repairings on the roof and you can hear that background noise. 
it's yeah, annoying. They are hammering, making holes in the in the wall. Maybe they they'll mess up my my cup shelf. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, you you can also jump O6 to set up the a big moyo in the top, but you can leave it like that already. And usually in this position, you you try to take center and punish White for playing that heavy uh, defense at D3. And it's good to enter C5 or C6. Just play a double approach uh, in the top left corner. Oh, okay. Because yeah. normally White should extend uh, C6 or C7 and later block the corner. If she blocks the corner right away, well, this move still gives uh, White a pretty uh, simple way to, to protect the corner. He, he or she can kick here, C5, and then you go up. So you can go even, yeah, you, you can approach at C5. It makes White more uncomfortable if you go oh, closer. Okay, yeah. like, like that, the shape is not that terrible. But when you play C5, White can block with an empty triangle, which already gives White a bad shape. You hunt it once, and then you extend. So that's a bit uh, cramped. Now, no, 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 extend on the side. C8. Oh, the other way, yeah. Just make a base. No, 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 two space jump. Light, light extension. Like that. Right, right. And you don't care okay. about that stone. Now you okay, can okay. sacrifice that stone and extend again. <coughs> so, yeah, that's true about the, the European players who, who study in Japan, China, Korea. They became really strong, many of them. It wasn't my case. I was just a maniac playing online. And to learn. So. <laughs> well, I've been to Asia, but never for studying, just for playing. I mean, playing tournaments like World Championship and things like that. So, uh, go back to the original game. You got the wall, you kill that thing, but you could kill more. I, th I think you gave up those two stones too easy by playing instantly. When you had a good laugh of setting up the Moyo, this was nice, extend Atari. Oh, and here is a basic uh, error. So, White, white turn, right? No, this was okay. This was good. You have to block. I mean, by white. She played this. You extend it. Very good. P11. Then she cut. You go Atari. And now white should take right away. Going down. But yeah. if she takes and you play another Atari, she doesn't have to do anything. And right. uh, Or like, like uh, she goes R4 and then you go down R6. She doesn't have to play R5. But when she plays R5, she's committed to play R, R4. So... You you got set there and White lost the move here. Mm, interesting jump. Uh, it looks like you're making a big box, but it's not really necessary. You can go at 17. Actually, every, any move you play in, in this position is good for you. So, and now now White desperately <laughs> yeah. came inside the moy. And yeah. when that happened, so how it was? You play the jump, this move. Ah, you blocked like that. You need bump. Okay, that's okay. And here you should play a better shape instead of peep against the cutting point. It's either cut or play Q8. That's a nicer shape. So why doesn't play Atari? Ah, yeah, yeah. The, this feels like a, a good move. Because anyway, white doesn't have a base or it's impossible to make any base. The group is still heavy. Oh, if that happens, you don't even play Atari. Well, you can. Oh, actually, yeah, you can play Atari and then block. And now O10, because you have a strong position. And those four stones are just heavy and running to nowhere. They will die. But that group died anyway. And it should die without losing those two stones. So go ahead a little bit. Oh. Or further in the game. So you peep, Atari, connect. Now you should no be. Instead of going down, you should go up to N, uh, N9. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, there is no space for white here. I mean, no, no. Instead of P9, go to the left. Go N9. Many times when you play a move like P9 and your opponent makes a tiger mount, it's a good shape. So when you go N9, uh, white will play Q10, and you block, and there is still no space for ice. And then when she comes out with a jump like M7, you just push the weak group towards the wall. You play a K mine, you're one step ahead, exactly. And then if you take Q8 stone, she has to come back and protect, and there is no space to make an eye on the side. Anyway, this group will die. Yeah, that, that's the move you can play. And if white plays anyway, there is not enough space for two eyes. Not even for one. Okay. So you went down. And that, that's the the risky part when you attack a group and give him a... I, ah, yeah, the cut is good. The ladder are not... Uh, it's not working. So Atari, Atari. 
then you shouldn't get scared. Let's see what happens if you connect the two stones. <coughs> Try to read this out. She will connect, right? What can yeah. you do? Oh, I can just cut. Yeah, it's a tie. Yes. <laughs> and then everything dies. When she connects, yep. you just turn R7. No, no, the other one. Oh, because like this, R7. she can connect under. You play R7 or you can even play uh, S6. But this is good. So you kill these two, uh, this group on the right. And the one in the middle dies anyway. No way to go out with the four stones. So you play very quick mm -hmm. and gave up the two stones. And when you count the territory, it's not so great in case white managed to leave in the Moyo later on. But she didn't. Let's check a little bit this cross cut around Q17. White could leave here. Oh, and here you could jump better. You could play M11. This is a table shape oh, okay. and it's a nice uh, shape locally, but allows white to to go out. You give some space there. Mm -hmm. But if you jump M11, difficult to escape. And you shouldn't allow uh, white make a punuki here. Let's see what happened. You should double Hane. Push, push. And now, when Hane, you can double Hane. No, you, sh you shouldn't play away. Double Hane, I10. Oh, okay. It's difficult to leave. What can white do? Yeah, Atari, Atari, and then what? Connect, extend, yeah. And then, yeah, she needs to connect. And you can peep first. No, 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 don't take a stone. You're strong in the middle. You can peep, J8, and white connect. And now you extend to the left. Either Keima, G8, or Kosumi, G9. Just surround you. The push and cuts and everything are not a problem because you're trying to surround and kill everything. Yeah, you answer all, she will go Atari Atari, so you got your, your net if you need. Oh, that's so ugly. Just extend. And there is yeah. no way to make twice, I think. She can okay. try, but you still have this L. Yeah, it's difficult to leave. Because you jump L10, and if white goes L10, you push L8, and then and 10 And if she makes only twice, it's super painful. But in the game, somehow, yeah, you, you allow that uh, double for Nokia. It was a, a pretty powerful shape. So you took the extension. Oh, oh wait, wait. In, instead of instead of connecting, you can go Atari first. That's a good technique. Atari N13. No, the other one. The other one. Oh. Okay. From N13, white goes out, and then you connect. This is always good style uh, because now the two stones are like getting prepared to be captured in a ladder. So she will turn or something, and she's too busy to save those two stones, and you can attack the other groups. But those stones will never escape, in fact. If you play Atari from the other side and then come back, she can activate the cut at J12 and there is more Aji. So remember this kind of formation. Atari, then connect okay. to make white committed. So let's see what happened when white started some Q17 desperate fight. Oh, that's how she tricked you and you had to give the... Ah, okay. When, when she went no B, N13, you had to go no B to the left, I-11, not this jump. Mm -hmm. Because she's going to prepare the crane as Tatari and extend, and then you lose the three stones. So you got to protect J-12 for no B. Yeah, like that. The two stones are in trouble, and the group in the middle is in trouble. So white will push again or try some escape in the middle. Then you have time for moves like M-16 and surround everything. And no B again. That's center too. So, undo. <laughs> Go back to the part where you started to to give back the advantage, and here you should know be instead of this, you can. Go. Well, it's a bit dangerous though, but okay. It's, it's big to go I13 though, and read what happens when uh, white cuts, because that's a very nice shape for white to play I13, just extending to the center. For sure. You play. It, it looks, looks like it's, I can yeah, it's out. a bit dangerous, but when she cuts, you go Atari, then you push, then you push again, and you kill everything. And that way, the two stones will die too, and push one more from this. And then when uh, white goes down, you can play a Kosumi, like I-15 I and kill all. Because white keeps going down, but there is no space. So the Nobi works. Those two stones, they die naturally. The original target. And 13 and 12 and these four stones are about to die too what can she do uh, go down k17 then you block uh, j or i17 then white extends like that you block 
and 17, she goes up, push, uh, I mean block, cut, atari, go out, she dies faster. And one more push, and one more push, <laughs> and then when she goes down, again, I think she will, you can double up the corner with Q17. So the bottom group will die, the group on the right, everything. Those three groups are dead all together. But in the actual game, gotcha. she could live in the corner with Q17. But she said she didn't right. go down. So let's see that. So first of all, you were kind to allow that Ponuki in the center. That's something you shouldn't do. This block is good. Uh, okay. We already covered that part with the top left corner. So remember C5, mm -hmm. it's easier. Mm, here, she tricked you. Yeah. When she played the contact, <laughs> yeah. B16, you should go down. Because like this, you allow space. Yeah, instead of this bump, you better go Q17 or Hane Q16. Because that's the uh, the space where uh, White can make a base. If she goes up to O16 or she jumps P13, there is no, no way to make ice. You either block O17 or you go down. Yeah. It could also be N17, but this is good. Now, when she Hane, N15, you can play the vital point. Try to guess which is the vital point. To destroy the eye. It's an eye stealing Tesuji. Yeah, Probably that's here. a Because it, it breaks the eye and you're looking to cut next or connect under. And now she will go Atari M16, but as long as White cannot make a base, uh, she has no, no way to make eyes in the middle because you're strong everywhere. And now she needs to connect, left or right. Probably M15. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> then you can connect under uh, L17 or you can play K17 just to make sure, yeah, there is no way for, for white to escape. And if she tries to make eyes with moves like Q16 or O14, you pull back and that's it. Ma maximum one eye white can get in the middle. So that's a solid way to kill. You play Q17 where your opponent wants to play and uh, get more eye space. Gotcha. Always think about uh, removing the base because you already have a stone at N16. So when you double up O16, you're trying to get those uh, points around O14 and kill the two stones, but she can live in the corner, sacrificing or giving you the tail. Okay. And that should have happened, but she failed. So you block. Okay, Atari go out. Now here, okay, Atari under is good. And now she, she should go down, R17, what you do? <clears throat> Not this push, the other one. Descend. If she descends, it's already life in the corner. And now if right, you try to right, kill, right. for example, if you play a move like o, O18, she can play uh, Hane uh, like that. You gotta go Atari first. Then she will play Atari under R15 and give you the two stones. <clears throat> you gotta take. Then can she extend or hang in connection or something? If she doesn't, she will just play R16 and leave. Then you cut the stone, R14. And she leaves with Q19. She can leave right away with Q19, but that's a smaller life, right? This is like six points. And actually it's more because later in the game, why can play uh, R13 and connect under? That, that's just an end game. That, that's a good sequence to be left for a little later. But if you count your points, right, right. you don't have as much as you you were supposed to, to gain in this. Right, right. And the top yeah. right is quite okay for white. She's got this uh, influence and now, well, white is not centered, that's the problem. So you can attack the top left corner like you did in the game extend all the way to C10 and it's difficult for white to, to make this uh, thickness work in the center. If you get a, if, if okay. you get a stone first on the left side, it's finished. So estimate score things you're 14 points ahead, but it can be 40 like in the actual game. Right. So you killed all here. She pushed, you cut, that was good. Ah, you could, instead of Atari R17, you could go Q18 directly. Because when you play Atari, she goes out and then you go down and you kill. Q18, yeah. And then this way. And against Hane, you just take two stones. This block and she, she's got two liberties against three. It's better to play this Atari. Yep. But in, in, some, gotcha. in some fights, you play Atari from the other side. So it's not bad either. 
So how was the actual game? She died for free here. No compensation, nothing. You took. Oh, connect. I wouldn't connect Q Q17. It's yeah. but it's okay. It works. I mean, it's better style to block N18 because even if she takes, you connect and then there is no way to make twice. But the thing is, when you leave some space around M18, uh, White can play, for example, instead of M18, she could play J18. Then you gotta protect. Yeah, here she doesn't have to try to escape with the four stones. Just use them as bait to approach. So yeah, if she plays here and you play moves like K17, I mean just to discard those stones, she will push one time, then you block, then she turns J17, then you connect uh, as you like, hanging solid. Okay, then she jumps to the left G17, and later she can use Hane. Uh, L19, M19, everything sent there. So in the end, you just take those four stones, but on a very uh, small scale. In the actual game, she played from the inside, and you kill them all. So she has to use those stones as bait, just to approach and reduce this area, and build something for white uh, in the lower left of the bottom side. But people okay. don't think like this. They they try to save everything, and they make the bubble larger and die with the, the large group, the dragon. Yeah. Guilty yeah, as charged, instead, I, I make that same yeah, mistake. Instead of play, yeah, <laughs> instead of playing C9, go back. You should play the Kosumi, start from the Kosumi C5. C5 is threatening the corner, and it gives you a better, uh, a much more solid base. Okay, she can go down like she did in the game, or this move, and then you extend further, you can go all the way to C10. So it helps you to have the exchange. Uh, okay. But if you start from the, mm -hmm. the extension, you will end up a little bit over concentrated. Now go back to the actual game, and when you play C9, let's say white goes under C6 attach. <coughs> you will you will block here, right? Uh, C7. Mm, then she yeah. will pull back. Now you may protect the cutting point with a hanging connection at E7. And now white's corner is larger and safer. And then she can attack you all the way at C11. So she can build using that thickness and put some pressure on that group. But of course, you escape. Okay. You just connect to the top or jump into the middle. But now it's a bit tougher to destroy the moil. Actually, you can still invade some stun like you did in the game. Uh, see what it was. C17. Oh, let, let's, yeah, let's go back to, to that corner also. Yeah, this was all fine. Yeah, here. Very good. Okay, you, you could attack. Okay, this is fine. You could also attach F17, but this is fine. And block. And push. Push was good too. G18. Oh, you didn't. When, when, you, play this uh, move, okay. when you play this move, white should just block G18. Instead of trying to play inside and kill. This is wrong. Here you can just honey. You shouldn't go down. You should honey A18. Of course, you can honey the other way too. But like this, you're threatening some eye shape. So when C18, uh, you play D18, she goes down, you push again. But white played, white overplayed here. Uh, she should just go G18 because this leads to the uh, J group if you don't answer. So you're, now you gotta protect with C18. And here, if you feel like you have enough space for life, uh, it doesn't work. Yeah, this is fine. You're alive. But many times in this position, people think. They are already alive because it's more like six, seven inside liberties in the corner. But it's wrong. Let, let's say you ignore this. Instead of playing C18, you try to reduce on the left. So you play something like uh, E10 jump. I think you play that in the game also. Some came E number 10. Yeah. And now white tries to kill this corner. How can you kill it? Now you're white and you kill black. Good luck. Hmm. <laughs> This is a, I don't know, maybe 10 Q level problem, maybe 5 Q. I feel like. Hane, good. The, it's a good start. Now, this is the J group that dies unconditionally. It's one of the basic uh, corner formations that you have to know how to kill. It took me 30 minutes to solve this problem when I was 14 Q. Can I clamp here? You can, that... but uh, you give him life because uh, Black will Hane A18. That's, that's one of the common mistakes when trying to kill this corner. You play B18, which looks like a vital point, hoping that your opponent will block C18 and you connect under, and that's a call. 
it's not a direct kill. But black can resist with a18. We can go over this variation quick. So play b18. Okay. Then black on a18. You go down, or you go c18, one or the other. Then black will play c18 here. We are back. Right. Okay. So let's see. Let's see a solid Fuseki. If you have, uh, if you're still on Foxy. I am on Foxy. Yes. So five wins in a row. Looking scary. For your opponents, they they don't want to play anymore. Start to play. Okay. Looks like I'm black again. Mm. Black is good. You have sent it for a couple of moves. Let me pull the cords. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're playing a foxy who invites you for a diagonal for sick. You can try that. Go d16 and then attack him or her right away. Maybe a him. I don't know. Lisa. D16. Yeah, diagonal. Oof. Let's do it. And then let's see what white plays. Okay, a Hoshi. So in this case. You don't want uh, white to make a shimari at O17 or N17, so you can attack this corner O17, and then if he plays a peaceful move, no, not so peaceful, but anything can be sent. Well, this one it's hard to ignore. Yeah, tiger mount we don't allow. And now it's nice to extend K17 for a base because it's uh, the ideal distance. Mm -hmm. But you can also ignore this thing, in fact, sometimes, wow, they enter right away, why? It's too small. But what are the options? This looks like an endgame uh, move. I can just cover, I think, is fine. Let me think of something. If you peep and Hane and Atari and then cover. Wow. Let's start with a peep, P15. If I goes down, O18, you push and cut and destroy the corner. Why is it? Oh, he does. Okay, push through. Now there are several cutting points. Which one to use? Inside, outside? Oh, none of them. Weird. Yeah, pushing. this looks like a misclick. So I got punished too quickly. And then you can still use those cards, N18, ah, he heard me. All right, now what's your first instinct here? Uh... Well, those two stones are pretty heavy and weak, but his M18 can jump to M16. So it's good to play a move here and keep him confined in the corner. Okay, so maybe just cover again at M17? That's one of the moves, and the other one is L16. I like L16, it looks better. L16, okay. But M17 is not bad either. It's just that when you play M17, white will push to the left, L18 or wedge or something, and you might end up uh, in Gotter like this. Probably we take center. Just cover. Okay. Maybe not center, but anyway, a powerful position. And those two stones, you don't have to let them extend too far on the right side. So maybe something like Q11 would be pretty good soon. And... Just making sure everyone can see everything. <laughs> mm, okay. Oh, he's still afraid of uh, dying with a corner. So let's see, we need any Atari here or not? Maybe one Atari is good here. Gives him a bad shape. Empty triangle of soldier set. If I doesn't answer when you capture, it's probably center and it's a very strong position. And if White answers it, oh, like that, cut. <laughs> Funny. Take, yeah, yeah. take right? Look, yeah. Looks like he's cutting nothing. <laughs> So ambitious. Okay, wait. So you finish center and you have a nice wall. Double empty, yeah. Could have been. But anyway, later in the game when you block L18 and then you jump R17, this group is almost dead. 
So, mm -hmm. but right now, not so important. Those two stones can extend all the way to Q10. So now you gotta play something like P10 or Q10 or Q11, something to attack the two stones. Use the wall to extend or pincer. That's good. <clears throat> The guy saying hello. Hello to you too. So <laughs> <laughs> now that's a very tiny uh, attempt to to make a base. You gotta attack from the weak side and push him towards the strong side. Let's go with that. Ah, you could play game. Game is better. Yeah, okay. so you are a little more ahead. If you play like that, he can jump O13, but you can still K1 to surround, so you will be one step ahead. It's fine. Or you're okay. thinking he will push P12 and then you Han and double Han and that's it. I think what why can yeah, I was thinking but something like that. It's more. And you beat any uh, stronger players in the tournament? Or higher rank players? Yeah, I did. I beat a couple um, four kings uh -huh. who gave me two stones. Oh, okay. So it was like an even game, more or less. Yeah, yeah. Basically. You started a 6Q in the tournament? I did. I played 6Q. Sandbag. Um, my last <laughs> tournament in Kalamazoo mm. uh, brought me up to like 7Q. Oh, I see. For AGA, yeah, yeah. from 10 Q. Oh, okay, and... it was a good jump. Yeah, yeah. Ah, this is an attempt to cut. So P10 is just proper. Okay. <clears throat> and they gave you a nice magnetic go set. They sure did, it was super cool. That's a, yeah, a, pre a pretty go game to have when you travel. Or like if I want to ride my bicycle to the Go Club, that yeah. would make it easier. I thought you want to play Go when you ride your bicycle. <laughs> In the same time, you go to the park, you find another fellow riding a bicycle, and you play the moves in the same time. That makes the game very extreme, huh? <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, uh, can we kill this? Oh, let's try, let's try. Let's go for the kill. What's the first move to think about? The vital point. I was thinking R13. You, you're almost right. correct. <laughs> try try R12. If you start R13, he will go R12. And when you connect under, he can throw in and then attack from the outside. Right. So right. with this one, okay. this is the, the place where white plays to, to make twice right away. He says, you are really American. I'm not. But I can be one day. Anyway, so now I'm Chinese <laughs> today, or Chinese killer. Um, how about push P12? Push P12. So he, he can make an eye around P13, and you got to destroy that one. On the side, if he goes S14, you go S12. If he goes S12, you go S14. So with that vital point, you reduce him to one eye on the edge. But here you can force the other eye, he will push out, then you push again, honey, block, and then white is desperate, crying for help. And he'll call some professionals to save his ass. P P14 here. Yeah. Force his eyes. Now if you play the honey when he pushes, it's a bit tricky. You gotta read more moves ahead. He's got an interesting move at R8, trying to escape on the side. But he doesn't really work. So, why didn't really have to try to to escape with the the two stones in the first place? Once you play the pincer, they are pretty much doomed. He should just play some big points in the top. But the game is so unbalanced. It's a, it's a bad fuseki for White. He messed up the first fight trying to enter M18, and now it's finished. Now he tries to become a friend, so he can defeat you easier. Very, very chatty <laughs> guy. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Uh, no B or block? What's your 
Uh, yeah. Nobi, yeah. Nobi yeah. looks better for Correct. that. <coughs> and block. And mm -hmm. Now he'll push and use the cutting points, but it doesn't really work, huh? Which attack? Simple or double? D double or nothing. <laughs> I actually no, not the double. Let's see. The C yeah, just ten fourteen, the, just separate. Same. Yep. And then if he goes out or he connects, maybe he'll push again and Atari Atari and try to cut you. Oh, that can be tricky. But wait a second. Oh, we shouldn't play any of the Ataris, in fact. How oh, about now I realize something? You could block. Okay, this will be a fight. Take the stone. We gave black, uh, uh, gave white a, a big chance to escape here, but still not clear. There was a better way to kill. You could no be M12 instead of Hane, and let him connect to that stone or Hane after that. And nope again, and then surround everything. Uh, okay. And you could get rid of the archie. Now it's tricky. What means by the way? He asked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you block, he cuts. Atari again, cut. We can let him leave. Because you get a tremendous sickness in the middle. Okay. Anyway, you, you gotta block, yeah. If you if you play Nobi and yeah. White will push and Atari and double Atari. Like this, he wants to go Atari, Atari again. Then he cuts on the right. Q9. Then you can Atari those five stones. Actually, you don't even have to. But it's pretty much forced. You answer all. You make a 1,000 points uh, more in the center. Ah, you kill him. Now go Atari first. 014. And then just make shape on the right side, Q8, to protect the cut, and it's done. He will try to escape in the center and catch your three stones, but no way. Or resign. Maybe he'll fight. I'm not sure. Maybe. They don't resign too early here. We know that. They fight till they die with 150 points or something. <clears throat> hmm. So how to save the three stones? Oops. Uh, I think I could just keep pushing yeah. out to the left. Good. Yeah. Extend your liberties. And how do they play in the, in the US these days? They, they try to copy AI. They play the, the early Sun Sun invasion. I didn't see a lot of AI no, no, play no, at the tournament. No even least, games. No. In even games, um, they usually play. Actually, I ran into a lot of players that just played far too quickly. Uh, AI, um, AI play quickly, plays quickly too, instantly. They, they yeah. play a game in three seconds. <laughs> so Q, Q I'd say the copy players that, I huh? played. I, the players I played had a very KGS uh -huh. feel to their style of play. Um, so they're not they're not aggressive as as On like Fox, yeah? Fox or yeah, and they're not as they're not as like Hante. Japanese on it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like this weird middle <laughs> ground. So I they leave a lot of weaknesses, but they don't punish my mistakes. Oh. <laughs> so that's how you you, you won. Yeah, you confuse them with a mix of playing proper and overplay like Foxy, and they didn't know how to handle that. Yeah, they had a lot of trouble handling the aggression. Uh -huh. and then... Did you play fast, or you spent all the time? I, mean... I tried to <laughs> slow down. Uh -huh. I, I did okay. I did better than normal mm -hmm. at playing slower. I think I had 
time clocks were optional, so. Hmm. Okay. Um, we didn't use time clocks in most of my games. Oh, okay. So only for the slow players who are really slowing the the game. Yeah, exactly. My daughter played a tournament for for children, and they had twenty five minutes each, but they almost never had to use the clock. I mean, those kids they finished games in like five minutes. After five minutes, they were like, "Hey, can we see the score? We don't know how to count." <laughs> So, so <laughs> clocks were just a, a distraction for them. Uh, you can push again or you can jump in the middle. I would push one more. Yeah. Push one more time because if you jump okay. something like K8 or K9, he will turn. And like this, you can jump further. You can jump K8 and those two stones are in trouble. Or you can even play a K1. But in my tournament, uh, we had one hour and a half time thinking and five times one minute. It was really long. Some games took over three hours and a half. Uh, Nico Moko, this is a free game. I made sure it yeah, was a free game, game, so it doesn't count as ranked. So it does. And it's a, it's a teaching method. It, some people call it side mode. <laughs> yeah. Where, <laughs> when side uh, stronger we player the moves, huh? Exactly. Exactly. Well, not not then everybody checked Hikaru how he became a pro. In thirty, in seventy episodes. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> what's your first instinct here? My thought is to actually enclose the corner on the top while while attacking, huh? So, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. good. But make a high shimari, and and four. yeah, I was looking at because it's it's like a cap move, but in the same time it's a corner enclosure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, your opponent can think it's a, it's a free teaching game for him as well. He, he should give us a coffee. <laughs> it's funny, the, the guy says, are you a chess player? Or you are playing chess so good. Chess? Hmm. It's either chess or cheese. cheese. I'm not sure if he's telling me I'm cheesing yeah. it. <laughs> you are good at cheese. <clears throat> you are eating cheese while killing or something. <laughs> I will take my best day to play with you. Uh huh. So he's yes. gonna gonna focus. <laughs> yes. J J six game. Awesome. That's exactly where my mouse was over. <laughs> yeah, you drive him like a snake, zigzag left and right, and then push him towards the top and kill all. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's true. Just, just Novi probably. <laughs> That's a, a very unfair translation. A nobi to the left or to the right? To the left is what I'm thinking. So greedy. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's it actually is. good. It's fine. Okay. I was just kidding. Bo both are fine. Nobi to the right. It's okay. <laughs> uh huh. But he didn't say chess. He said something related to cheese. He's just hungry. Can you sure you will win? Of course we are sure you will win. <laughs> it's fun. Anyway, uh, is this move really sent eh? Let's challenge him a little bit. Don't answer. I think he wants you to go R6 or Q6. So Yeah, he's looking at Q6. No, don't, don't play any of those. Just surround him. Okay. Uh, something like K, K5. Diamond shape. Looks like it, yeah. Diamonds and pearls. Ah, okay. Now he struggles to make uh, life. We should let him live with two eyes there. And then kill the other stick. Pull back. Make nice shape. Here in Europe, we play a lot of Sun Sun Invasion. Almost every game. I try to uh, hold back a little bit. But, well. It's what the pros and the AIs are doing, so it must be good and simple as a Fuseki. Aha, uh -huh. so he's brave. He wants to live in center. Hmm. Challenge him a little bit. Play 08, just a pip. Okay. No, no need to answer as a reflex to his corner approach. Right, right. Anyway, you can pin, sir, and try to kill the five stones and attack uh, C14. So how can this group actually live? If you push Atari, 
you can start uh, reducing the the space with M5, <clears throat> sorry, then um, O5. That's how you kill a group. Doesn't have to be a very complicated Sumego sequence. Now Atari. Then he's down to like one eye. Mm, wait. Push and cut can be risky. Because you don't have too many liberties. So let, let's leave the position like that. It feels like he's dying anyway. And attack him on the left. I mean something like D11. Oh, okay. It feels too proper and simple to, to defend F16. We play on Fox, we play like sure. Foxy. <laughs> Huh? Ah, that's how my shape. Atari, Atari, then what? Mm -hmm. This Atari is not a problem. So he never answered the, the pincer. Therefore, let's continue with E14 cap. E14 cap is nice because you're separating the five stones from the corner stone. Otherwise, you can just kick okay. C16. Well, C16 would work too. And then you build territory F16 and he is just running to connect some neutral death points with other neutral death stones. Oh, aggressive. Now let's teach him some basic technique. You cut first, D13. <clears throat> then you have some options when he cuts. <coughs> hey, no bishi, no bishi. Now you can pull back E15. Yeah, all of a sudden he plays like a five down. Not, not at all. <laughs> he might have called some 911 to resuscitate this game. Never know. Okay, so he turns. That's a complete Kote move. Let's continue the fight on the left side. Go down C13. The idea was that if he plays Atari, you counter Atari and you Atari again and you become super strong and you kill those guys in the middle. And he smells some danger. So he turned, but he gives you a lot on the left side. That shape looks too good. And now he'll jump out. I9 or something, you play a hanging connection. In the meantime, he's dying on the right. Oh no, he doesn't jump out. Now here, normally you just block, but it's actually better to play C11. Because when you block, he will play a hanging connection, B15, and he can either cut you C12 or go in Sun Sun. But when you play this move, okay. you, don't have you don't have to worry about the cuts anymore. And when he goes like that, you can block Sun Sun or you can uh, attach uh, B7, this is better actually, and block again. He can leave, but, or maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. And if he leaves, it's very small, just connect solid, D17. Mm -hmm. And it's not so easy to leave, in fact, because you have the clamp but C15 and Atari and reduce the space. You can, let's see, if you block Atari, park, park. Oh, if you block, you can leave, and if you wedge, uh, yeah, start with the wedge, C15. That's a good start. If he blocks, you go Atari. A uh, good start, but he can leave, actually. Because when you play Atari, he can go A14, then you go down, he goes down, you take two stones, he takes one back. But it's nice, because when you capture the two stones, okay. it looks strange that he's got E13 trying to cut. Okay, go Atari. He can leave? Oh, he cannot. He, he failed. He had to play A14 to leave. Now just block him. B, yeah, it's 6 on the second line. The proverb says that 6 on the second line die. He could leave in a very artistic way, but painful. Only two eyes. Yeah, it's a classic Sumego to play that shape. A14, and when you block, uh, White can go down A12, and he's got the ice, but better die than make life hurt, so. Mm -hmm. Two, Yoyomi's left. And are you going to play any other tournament this year? I'm not sure. There's one in uh, Ohio in December that I'm looking mm -hmm. at, and I'm not sure what next year looks like for tournaments in my area. I see. So... You need to pay attention here, or ignore this move completely and approach the top from F3. Nine, eight, 
That's, it's already the biome, yeah? F2 is the most open site. Then slide and so on. On the right side, you need to pay attention when, okay. If you want to play aggressive, you can double approach. Let's see how he reacts to that. If, if you want to play kind, you so. go San San or you jump out and surround the stone. But let, let's play some messy Baduk. We're on Fox. <laughs> let's remember Fox that we are on Fox. <laughs> <laughs> to outfox the foxes. The jump? Ah, uh, you can surround the corner. E5. Also, Sun Sun would be okay here, but let's see. Three point approach is nice in general. He's got so many flying groups in the middle that I12 now push and cut and something will die. The top stone is weak, the corner is weak. You can fight, just block again. And then let's semi-I. He will Atari and try to kill the two stones, connect. That way the top invasion will die by itself without even touching it. I think now he has to remove a liberty. I mean D7. No? He doesn't. Ah, okay. So brave. Now try to kill the three stones in the corner. Don't play any Atari. We don't know yet which one is good. Mm, probably just Santan. Uh, hmm. Let me think. He also wants to cut here. I think it's better to play a K1. Start from B4. Sansan looks nice. But before it's really safer because the two stones on the left, they look like they need more liberties. The other four stones okay. are a bit stronger. So you play from the weak side to strengthen it. Gotcha. I got an envelope here. It's a red box. If I click withdraw, my computer will explode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, um, Kosumitsuke. I mean, E2. Okay, perfect. But you could also play the peep, C3, and then block, and... But like this, I think we can uh, force him, or induce a mistake, like E3. If he plays E3, you connect, and then he's losing liberties. And when he tries to leave in the corner, you push Atari, and he's got very few liberties, and he's the dead L formation. Okay, that's similar. So you can still play uh, C4. And then you threaten a snapback. The shape is dead already. He'll go down. B3, hoping to make enough liberties to fight. But it's just an illusion. And now C5. Just threaten the snapback. Okay. Ah, in fact, we could throw in and then Atari and then connect. But this is actually better because he can try to make um, a big guy, but we don't allow that. So start from A2, playing side first. Oh, we also need Atari and go out. The, the shape is dead, but your outside group are still a little bit in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, this is fine, and then you can attach and connect. The, the idea with this group is you don't want to let him create an Akade, that big one eye, the bulky five shape. That's why this move. Eight. And now I think he will play B2 Five. or go down and separate. Three, two, one. <coughs> oh, he just told me to try my best. Try your best because I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die no matter what you play. Ah, okay. That's an interesting move. So Atari, Atari, they... That doesn't work. Yeah, cut, cut, right away. He can, he can make <laughs> an eye. Ah, okay. Just Atari all the way over, right? Oh, wait a second. If you turn... Oh, I don't even have to do that. Yeah, you can. You take take right. the two stones. No, it's fine. Take them. Okay. I was thinking to turn in the corner and then kill the other way, but he dies no matter what, so... But try your best. Ah, good. Self-Atari. Take them. 
Now wait a second. So he has a cutting point at j5. You should play something to attack those two stones in the top. You can start from a pip, i4. Okay. Maybe we have to kill that group in the middle to show him he's finished. Ah, throw in again. Hmm. That doesn't really help. So Atari, Atari and Wedge. Cut, cut him e7, go off several times. And then Wedge d8. Well, one more Atari and then Wedge. Because you have plenty of liberties with the group in the top. And then you kill more on the left side. So before the next tournament, you gotta become a solid one done. Then enter the tournament as a four cube. <laughs> Should I wedge? You said D8, yeah. on the left. Yeah. Connect and create cutting points. Then if he wants to fight the semi with your top group, you just turn in the corner. But here, connect. I mean B2. Oh, whoops. Pom, pom, pom. <laughs> you can send me half of your go set. You, you send me only the white stones. <laughs> H4. Separate. No, don't worry. I have a, a magnetic go set too. But half of the stones are missing because my daughter was playing or pretending she was playing Go when she was four years old. And well, that's how the stones disappear under the furniture. And she ate that. And yeah. Didn't want to <laughs> that. I get it. Yeah. Well, you, you, could, you could play Atari from the outside and connect under. Now it gets a bit more tricky. Now your group is separated, so pay attention. Surround his group, actually. Play something like H, H7 or H8. One, yeah. Okay. Okay, he's dying now. Or maybe not. Or maybe yes. Atari, Atari, and it's finished. Okay, this is good. When he cuts, you go Atari, G5, and Atari again. Now here, just a second. So if you Atari, he goes here. You Atari. Ah, he plays very sneaky. But it doesn't work. No, Atari, so connect, Atari, 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 take. Ah, it works a little bit. Hmm, pay attention. So just extend, G, G9. Seven, Don't play any Atari, six, Atari is bad. Five. He wanted you to lose the liberty here so he can cut F8 and then Atari from the outside and Atari again and kill all the corner. But that's a surprise move. He's still looking at that. So now, Atari, Atari, okay. Uh, you can play Atari from G5 and then connect. And when white cuts, you go Atari from the outside. Like that, you don't lose the, corner, uh, the middle group. Unless mm -hmm. he sacrifices. Ah, oh, but it's not so easy. It's got a little dangerous. Nine, eight, seven. Ah, uh, maybe he six, will sacrifice five, the four stones. Four, three, two, one. But wait a second. So if you push Atari, he takes, you connect, then he will know your push, then Atari from behind. Yeah, let's do that. So push I6. It's an Atari from that direction. Yeah. That's an Atari. It's oh, Atari right. on one stone. Now he will take you, connect. Then you have Atari from behind and Atari again. So he will think that maybe he can escape in the middle, but in fact everything will die. And just connect the three stones. Now you have Atari from behind the J4. That's your next move. Then you continue with Atari and Atari and kill all. Atari first and then Hane, and then Atari again. Sneak, yeah? Yeah. That's the way to calm down your opponent here. 
-hmm. So if he catches too late, he's got two liberties. No matter what he plays, he loses the group and the other groups too. I'll let you finish the game from here. We, we'll, see, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Sounds right. great. Thanks so much for the Thank lesson. Thank you too. Have a good one. Ciao, ciao. Five, yep, bye bye. Four, three, two, one. Okay, and as I like to remind everyone, uh, be sure to support Cornell um, on, his, on his stream at twitch.tv slash Cornell Go.